Hello and welcome to one of the fastest Ferraris in Grand Turismo 7. This is a Ferrari F8 Tributo. And I know what you're thinking already. Oh, how is this glorified 458 supposed to be one of the fastest Ferraris? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how. And if you do go on to enjoy it and want to see more GC7 content, hit that subscribe button. Now when we first get behind the wheel of the F8, we are greeted with the traditional handling that Ferraris have. I don't know what it is, but the minute you get behind the wheel of a Ferrari, well, you understand, okay, I know what I'm in. Now, the closest thing in Grand Turismo 7 that we have to the Ferrari F8 Tributo has to be the 458. Now, the 458 is a bit outdated compared to the Ferrari F8, and you can feel that in game. I don't know why we don't have the 488, but we're just gonna work with the 458. Now the 458, you can really tramp it around corners, take it, have the back end step out. You know, it's a really fun vehicle, fast and all, but the F8 just does everything that the 458 does, just a lot better. Even when it comes to cornering, the way the suspension handles bends, how it handles curbs and this is just the vehicle in its standard form without even tuning it it is still one hell of a vehicle now when you jam on the brakes the vehicle's braking system is so superb that you can practically stop on a dime now acceleration is insanely responsive so is the steering and everything about this vehicle just screams a brand new ferrari and you can't really complain about that but this is the vehicle stock now you are thinking to yourself okay but this isn't anything you know to be like wow you know this is a fast ferrari well look it's not a slow ferrari this actually has the most powerful v8 that ferrari has ever produced and this thing comes standard with over 700 brake horsepower and a weight of just over 1300 kgs that makes it relatively lightweight with a ton of power which means it's the perfect vehicle to just throw around the circuit the thing is with the vehicle having over 700 horsepower and no traction control you would think this car is going to be all over the place but it's such a controlled and just civilized ferrari where you aren't really fighting the vehicle to now keep it in line now let's say you want a lot more out of your ferrari f8 tributo well once you fully upgrade it and this is the tune that i used if you want to copy it down and just try out my settings well yeah they are so once you fully upgrade your ferrari f8 well you're going to be left with 990 brake horsepower with a weight of just under 1100 kgs and if we actually compare that to another Ferrari, the Ferrari La Ferrari, the F8 is more powerful and lighter. The La Ferrari only produces 949 brake horsepower and has a weight of over 1,200 kgs, which means for a vehicle that even when you fully upgrade it costs less than half the price of a Ferrari La Ferrari. And the thing is, with the La Ferrari, well, you still need an invitation to purchase that vehicle. And once you get the invitation, you need 1.6 million credits to actually own it. So, instead of waiting for the invitation, hoping you get it, and then still chucking out a big chunk of change for a Ferrari, you can save yourself a lot of money, a lot of time, and experience the same performance, but for a whole lot less. And honestly, the Ferrari F8 is a lot faster to drive than the Ferrari La Ferrari. If you put it under the same conditions where you have no traction on and you have your racing soft tires on, the Ferrari F8 Tributo will set a faster lap time than the Ferrari La Ferrari. Because the thing is, with the higher end Ferraris, once you start fully upgrading them, then it gets to a point where you're too scared to push it because the cars are gonna bite back. The cars are at such a power level where if you make a slight mistake, you're off track, you're in a barrier. Whereas with the Ferrari F8 Tributo, where it is, is absolutely ideal. It's perfection in my eyes because it has just the right amount of power, 
it's mixed with the perfection of its braking system because with some vehicles once you start upgrading it and have over a thousand horsepower the braking system simply cannot just keep up with the performance of the vehicle but that is not the case with the f8 the f8 is so able to just go around corners incredibly fast if you want to slide it you can but if you have no traction on 900 horsepower going to rear wheels you would expect this thing to be absolutely smoking up the rear tires but that is simply not the case this vehicle is almost designed with a single purpose and that is to get you around the circuit as fast as possible and you can really feel that to a point where the Ferrari F8 Tributo absolutely destroys Group 3 vehicles you see the F8 fly past it now I would suggest using this vehicle for how do I say for some of the money grinding methods using it against the Group 3 vehicles but the only downside with the Ferrari F8 Tributo in that scenario has to be the fuel economy Group 3 vehicles are just in a whole nother league compared to street cars when it comes to endurance events because street cars just are too thirsty to compete with the Group 3 rivals but the Ferrari F8 Tributo for just its availability, its speed, its everything compared to the vehicles you need invitations for and millions of credits to afford this offers that same experience for a whole lot less and that's why I absolutely adore the F8 Tributo it's insanely fast, grey brakes and just lethal around the circuit now I have tested out the 458 and the 458 does give a similar effect or feeling but the F8 really just takes it up a notch the F8 is one of the greatest Ferraris you can purchase and the thing is a lot of people actually skip over the Ferrari F8 Tributo because they see okay it's like at the bottom of the list of the Ferraris this is nowhere near the fastest or the most powerful or good of the Ferraris because that's often what we do once we get into Grand Central we usually go all the way to the right to see what is the highest level of sports car or race car and we drive that we often overlook the earlier vehicles and in my opinion I think that's exactly what happens with the F8 Tributo it is one of the best Ferraris I could even say one of the best cars you could drive in the game because of all of the reasons I've already listed it's just such a perfect vehicle and it does everything that you want it to do absolutely perfect so I want to hear from you guys in the comment section have you tried out the Ferrari F8 Tributo what do you think of it and yeah that's about it do you agree with my statements or not because I still say this is one of the best and fastest Ferraris to use in Grand Turismo 7 so if you guys did go on to enjoy this video don't forget leave a like and subscribe for more Grand Turismo 7 content and I'll see you guys in the next one peace